Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Miriam Leonardo Tango. Now, this is a chapter number two, how to create a beautiful choreography. So now it's the turn to decide the third point that we were talking about. And this is how we decide the main style in a choreography. Yes, after we have the song and we have the characters, now we like to, to see, okay, this song is more traditional, more typical, or like more for stage. So depending on the song style, we have to do the steps to match that song, right? Exactly, yeah. So before we continue, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell for, for notification. And if you are enjoying this series, put the thumbs up. If this is the first video you see in the series, stop here and go to the first one so you understand what we are talking about. Yeah, we are talking about doing a choreography. Yes. <laughs> so you have the song, right? We were deciding yeah. which song is good. Then we were working on the structure of the song. We count the song and we highlight parts that, parts that are more like for jumps or more for um, adagio, slow parts. And then we have the characters. Yeah. We know we like to have this character and representing this kind of people on this dance. Now we have to decide the style of the dance depending on the song. If style the song the choreography, is, yeah. yeah, if the song is more traditional, for example, we chose a poema. Yeah. Poema. So in poema, this is our taste, this is our choice. We are now going to do a high lift. Exactly. For example. Because the song is very, very traditional. Poema yeah. we know has very beautiful violins, kind of I would call it adagios, very slow part, but as well has pianos that -da -pa -pam, play with that. So the main things that we have to use on this choreography, it'll be the embrace, the connection with your partner, and at the same time, how you play with the music. Yes, with those pianos, how you -pa -da -pa -pam, play it with that. Yeah, how you represent the piano, the violin, the bandoneon, each instrument, you have to hear it very, very well and try to represent the instrument on your legs, on your step, like you are playing with your legs, that instrument. Each move will have different style, different character as well. Like your own character will represent on the step, on the move. It has their own character, depending on the instrument very much. Sometimes also, depending on the instrument, we choose who is dancing or who is yes. highlighting the moment. Mostly, if, if it's a violin, it will be more for Sorry. female, for the follower, to do full work. If it's a bandoneon, you know, Or a bass, more, like a deep bass, doo -doo -boom -boom, yeah. like that, it'll be mostly for the leader. Yeah, mostly for the leader. This is if we get Our the test. very traditional type of leader follower, right? Yeah. Uh, lately, there is more dancing between men, between women. But I think because when we dance tango, if we keep the rules, we have one follower and one leader, yeah. right? So it could be female or male, that doesn't matter. But the leader and the follower are having roles. So mostly when the bandoneon or bass is more the male role yeah. and violin, sometimes piano is more for females. It could be also not like that, but most of the time it's, it matches the move much with the, the sound. And yeah. that's very important. When we are doing these kind of things, it is important to know, again, the music in Poema, we cannot do huge steps. It has to be more controlled. Sometimes yeah. you have to, not contain, I will, I will not like to say contain, but you cannot go like, so, fo, boom, for, in Poema. Mm. Poema is a very traditional song. Yep. Sure. Like you will dance, elegant. like, yeah, you have to dance more elegant, more controlled, more in one bubble with your partner. That's the main thing. And we'll make yeah. keep the close embrace. Yes, exactly. Most of the time. Yeah, if it's traditional, we'll try to, we'll do our best to do the close, to keep the close embrace. In another hand, if we are choosing a choreography that it will be more for a stage, Again, I will put the Libertango, Tanguera, something like very, very bright, very, very new, very modern, like Piazzola. We, you can focus, instead of focusing on the footwork, like you were focusing in a traditional one, mm -hmm. uh, you will focus more on the lift. Yes, but that brings something very, very important. And when we are doing these kind of things, it is a matter of having good taste. And yes. in order to, if you don't know, how do I keep a good taste with the song? I don't know. I'm not professional. So 
you don't have to overwhelm your audience. Yes. For example, when we are doing these kind of things, we have to choose different parts of the music mm -hmm. that we know, okay, here we're going to do a lift, here we're going mm -hmm. to do footwork, here we do another lift, and that's it. Yes. So you don't want to go to YouTube, watch, ah, I like this, this lift here, and then I like this dip here, and, and then I have, and then copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And as an audience, mm -hmm. it'll be like pff, overwhelming. And you mean without listening listening to the song, listening exactly. to the expression of the instruments. Exactly, yes. Please don't do that. Don't copy paste steps and just mm. throw it and have the music as background. Please don't do that. Yes, the music is not the background. The music yes. is the main thing and we should follow that and we should color in that. We should express that because the musicians are expressing so much yeah. through the instruments and we should do the same with our legs, our bodies. We are one more instrument of the music. So that's very important. So at the end, what we like to say is that you have to choose if the song is going to be more footwork or it's going to be more lift and yes. a stage effect. Exactly. That will create the difference between one choreography and the other choreography. So talking about this brings us to the next point, the point number six on this list, huge list that we have. And um, it is the highlights and the effects, yes? yes. Uh, knowing the music, knowing your character, counting, writing down, everything you chose. If you are going to do high, highlight the footwork or the lift, you know everything. Now you have to start putting, like, you know, when you go to the milonga, the tandas are very well thought, yes? It cannot be like milonga, 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 darienzo, mm. all pum, 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 up because the people will not be able to dance that yeah yes. all in a row because you get tired the same happened to the to the eyes of an audience you have to go in waves yes you in order to show something spectacular you have to contain a little bit show that spectacular thing and slow down yes otherwise if you do fast fast big big you do something big and it won't people will not notice it because there is no contrast on that choreography, yes? So that being said, try to, like we were talking before, try to choose main part of the music where you are going to say, okay, we're going to do something big here, something yeah. big here, something strong here, and something very soft in this area. Very romantic. Yes. Don't forget the connection. Don't forget uh, to be connected with your partner because mm -hmm. sometimes you focus a lot on figures, effect, high, uh, high lift, drops but then you are dancing by yourself he's dancing by yourself and there's no connection yeah. and tango is all about connection and race and the more you look it's very nice at one point uh to put a routine uh, with a connection on the eyes eyes looking to each other yes. for example if we are dancing if we are all the time here but sí. like uh, one more step like a uh, part of a routine do this Look at each other, get connect, breathe together, move together, make that moment happen. And then you go back to the sharp moves or the lift. But this has to be a moment that it has to be in the routine to integrate the emotion of a couple to the audience. So, yes. and they integrate the audience to you. So you, the thing is that you're dancing for them and they have to enter into your own movie here. So yeah. when you connect and we, when you stop everything, then they go, oh, oh, that, that trapped them in. Yeah. So then they are sharing that moment with you. And always remember that you are still dancing tango, regardless if you are doing a huge routine with a big orchestra, a song, and it's a TV program you still dance in tango. So you still have to show the embrace. You still have to show the walk. You still have to show the style. Yes. So it means it's something that we have in common that we always, that it's kind of our rule. Whenever we are going to do a lift, mm -hmm. before the lift, you have to show tango. Tango means embrace, okay. means walking, yeah. connection. Walking in connection. Yeah. You fly out of this world, shoom, lift, upside down, whatever you want, exit in a tango mode, a tango walking. So it's not a good thing to be like for 30, 40, one seconds, one minute, and she's not touching the floor. 
That yeah. is not tango. That's another thing is theatrical arts. Yeah. So yeah. try to be careful with that. That's, of course, it's our taste. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. We are not imposing. <laughs> yes. But this is a recommendation. This is what uh, gives emotion to the people. And it's very nice to inspire people and, and to share that moment of connection and love and the tango roots. Go back to the yeah, tango, tango roots. roots. Exactly. Don't forget. Don't ever forget the tango roots because you can be flying and doing a lot of effects. But people appreciate when you walk, when you embrace, when you have those moments of connection. That's, that's very, very beautiful. And again, we are in these episodes that we are doing, we are talking about choreographies. Yes, choreographies are a totally different world than social dancing. Yes. yes? So yeah. don't be afraid if we are saying, no, try to do more footwork, more lift. That is not for the milonga. That is not for social dancing. Yeah. It's choreography, and choreography is totally different. Yeah, stage, exhibitions, wherever you like, competitions, but don't confuse this with social dancing instruction. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it for today, yes. right? Yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. We are, going to, we are going to be giving you points in how we structure a tango routine. See you there. Remember to write if you have any comments, and also remember to like the video if you like it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much. Bye, stay bye safe. Bye-bye.